Hi everyone, my name is Dara and this is Dear Hallmark. This is a space where I nerd and geek out over Hallmark Channel movies, TV shows, and stuff. And uh, first of all, I hope your Thanksgiving was great. Happy belated Thanksgiving to you and your family. Uh, my Thanksgiving was stacked. <laughs> Y'all, I ate like I was getting paid to. It was, it ain't make no sense. The type of food we had, my cousin makes this seafood salad that's just, oh, goodness and mercy, follows me all the days of my life. And I will do all in the house of the Lord forever. That's evidence that goodness and mercy follows me. You hear me? Um, but besides that, we are going to talk about The Nine Kittens of Christmas, which stars Brandon Root. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Uh, but also Kimberly Sustad. Let's say it together. Kimberly Sustad is queen. I love that this movie engaged me in a way where I didn't feel the need to pick up my phone. I was locked in. I, Kimberly is so captivating, no matter what character she plays, even if she's a supporting actor, if you're watching her in a supporting role, like in A Bride for Christmas or Cooking with... Is it Cooking with Love? I think it's Cooking with Love. Or um, Sense, Sensibility and Snowman. Like, she is just so captivating and real and authentic. And she is one of my favorites, for real, for real. Um, the performances were all around good. This movie was cute. This was the, the direction I, I, was, I was needing after my kind of venting therapy session last in the last video talking about five more minutes um but this was the light fluffy christmasy movie that i needed we got a couple guest characters in there i won't spoil it i won't spoil one but the guy who plays kimberly's um boyfriend his name is Nathan Witt or White. He was also in Wedding March 6. He was in My Best Friend's Bouquet. He was also, oh gosh, he was just in another one. He was just in another one. I forget. But he's also in a Lifetime one, Merry Little Christmas Baby, that I'm going to be reviewing as well, starring Kelly Rowland and Brisha Webb, and some other players. Um, but I digress. This movie was cool. The mid-movie kiss, I was like, well, okay then. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a sequel. If you haven't seen the first one, The Nine Lives of Christmas, it is The Nine Lives of Christmas is one of my favorites. I love that. With this, I don't, I don't feel like you have to watch Nine Lives of Christmas. I feel like this is, it could be a standalone. But there are just certain things that if you watch the first one, it'll be like, ah. Like, it, it hits different if you were to watch the first one. Um, I have my Harvest Wishes mug. And I, oh, this tea is Juniper Mint and Honey. It is the Rocky Mountain Foragers Edition. Love. I don't use sugar or honey with this tea. I drink it straight, no chaser, you hear? So good. I digress. This movie was cool. Like, I've, I've, there's really not much to say. It was solid, four crowns. I don't think it was my favorite, although it's a good movie. Like, I did do my top 10 favorites on the podcast for the review for a kiss before christmas i also snook in there my what i call the midterms so i give you the top 10 movies that are my favorite but like as we go into the second half so the nine lives of christmas is really um the nine kittens of christmas is really kicking off the second half of the movies because we've y'all we we've seen 20 movies already I've reviewed 20 movies for you between the podcast and the YouTube channel. <laughs> it's, in, it's, in, it's crazy to me to think that. I don't know where this accent is coming from, but amen. 
anyway, uh, the sister was charming. Kimberly was charming. She was charmingly awkward, charmingly boss, charmingly flirty. Like she was just charming all around. Um, again, I really don't think there's much to say. Uh, there were, there were, the, there were some, some like lines that I legit laughed at. Like throughout the course of the movie, they're trying to get these nine kittens adopted because there were nine kittens left, you know, in front of the firehouse. And they had this idea to do the, like a bookstore cat cafe type thing. And then, uh, Brandon, Brandon's character, Zachary, he has a line where he says, um, what I spent in cat food, I saved on therapy <laughs> because he talked to his cat. I thought that that was cute. Um, and then there was the scene where the, the Christmas tree scene where they were both like Kimberly was showing her family. Zachary was showing Sam and they end up, they were at the same tree. I love that scene. I also loved Sam's relationship with Zachary. You really see how involved Sam is in Zachary's life, A, and vice versa. And you also see, like, the role and the importance of Sam in Zachary's life. Like, I really love seeing that father figure happen. Like, I, I, I love that. Um, I like that we got to see a little bit more of Sam as well. With his, cause I, with his wife and him retiring. I love that whole storyline, passing it down to Zachary. Um, what else? Oh, this is something I was thinking about. One thing that is liable to always grind my gears in a movie, let an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend come back into the picture at towards the end. And then the homie, the current homie that's trying to get in the picture, it then misconstrues everything and then whap, bam, boom, they're out. That's one thing I... <laughs> that always, like, grinds my gears. In the sense that I'm invested in the plot. So I'm like, Miles, we don't want no scrubs. Bye. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hated it. <laughs> But, yeah. What did you guys think about this movie? This movie premiered Thanksgiving Day. Um, I was well... I was at... What was I doing at that time? I don't even know. Probably eating, y'all. I promise you. I ate like I was on payroll. <laughs> Hello. But, uh, what did you guys think of this? Did you enjoy it? Did you see the first one? Did you just think this was okay? I can see where people might have just thought it was okay. I could see where people loved it. Again, this was a solid movie, a healthy four. Nothing bad about it. It just it's just it's just not my favorite. You know what I mean? So yeah. I look forward to reviewing the rest of these movies for and with you guys. And um follow Dear Hallmark on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to the Dear Hallmark Podcast so you can keep up with my other reviews like Nantucket Noel, A Christmas Together With You, A Kiss Before Christmas, and some others. Um, and we're just going to keep rolling. We're just going to keep rolling down the road to Christmas. So I look forward to talking with you guys in the comments, on Instagram. And it, there's even a way to engage with me via the podcast. Um, if you click the link to the podcast in the description box, there is a space where you're able to leave a voice message and that voice message is 60 seconds long. You're able to say whatever it is you want to say, whether you want to talk about Christmas, you want to talk about your favorite actress, you want to talk about what you think about my YouTube channel, but like you can literally say whatever you want in those 60 seconds and I'll put it in the podcast and respond to it like we're having a conversation and we're dialoguing so that's all i got for you guys again in the comments let me know what you thought of nine kittens of christmas and i look forward to talking with you guys in the next video